today I am going to talk about the Poland missile issue. The Russia-Ukraine war is in its full swing. Russia is targeting the civilian infrastructure of Ukraine and uh, the Ukrainians are resp responding by, uh, by using anti-defense missiles. While this is happening between Russia and Ukraine and the war in the Ukraine seems to be unending, a new problem has arisen. The NATO member country Poland has been attacked by missiles and two of its nationals have succumbed to, the, to their injuries. The question, the serious question here is, will an attack on Poland lead to a large-scale world war, whether it will draw in the powers of USA, UK and other nations. The preliminary evidence shows that the missile is a Russian-made missile, but the trajectory seems to be indicating that this might have been an accidental misfiring by the Ukrainian military. The soon after the attack, President Zelensky of Ukraine blamed Russia for the incident. However, NATO leaders, the President of the United States and Polish President denied that this might have been due to direct Russian involvement. Let me emphasize the word direct because although these leaders said Russia might not have had the intention to directly attack Poland, they have indirectly bestowed the responsibility on Russia because Russia is violating the principles of international law and trying to take a democratically elected sovereign power, Ukraine, under its fold. Why does such a, an attack on Poland is causing huge alarms and bringing back the memories of world wars? It's a question that needs to be answered historically. To understand this, we must go back to 1870s when European nations started forming alliances. Due to these alliances, there was growing discontent and mistrust between the European powers. After the unfortunate incident of a Serbian killing the Austrian Prince Francis Fenad, immediately Austria, Hungary, declared war on Serbia. The Serbian, the Serbians were supported by the Russians and the Austrian Hungary supported by the, by the Germany. Now this dragged slowly Germany, dragged Belgium into the war which brought Britain in and France in. And the war was in full swing with both the sides not managing to gain any ground until the entry of United States which tilted the balance in the favor of the Allies led by Britain. After the end of the First World War, the entire blame for the war was put on Germany. Germany was made to pay severe penalties and it also had to forego vast tracts of its territory. From the territories taken from the Germany, the allied nations formed a new country called Poland. The seeds of the Second World War were thrown in this disastrous post-war Treaty of Versailles, where Germany 
was given a bad deal capitalizing on this adolf hitler riding on the wave of nationalism in an attempt to revive the german glory tried to retake poland which resulted in another world war with britain on one side and germany on the other side just like the first world war the second world war was a tough battle between the both the sides until united states entered the picture and the allies had their victory but this time the allies had learned their lesson they did not do the mistakes that they committed in the treaty of versailles which was the treaty that was signed of the first world war they ensured that league of nations being replaced by united nations to prevent war and to promote peace and security after the end of the second world war a new form of global international issue started spreading just like 1850s two new blocks were formed and they are the communist bloc led by russia the erstwhile ussr soviet union and the nato led by usa there were serious tensions between both the factions both the leadership both usa and russia were engaged in accumulating members for each each side which resulted in tensions luckily there were no war by 1990s the communist regime collapsed and the ussr was broken down into many countries one of that country is ukraine which remained closely with russia till now until in 2014 a president who is against russian russia and who is for ukrainian nationalism came to power the other countries that disintegrated along with ukraine were estonia latvia lithuania and poland poland was of course not a part of ussr but and all these countries have joined nato the biggest anxiety among russia and its president is whether ukraine will join nato or not although the statements from nato was very clear that they would not take ukraine into their groupings there were mixed signals from both the sides which increased the anxieties among the russians especially the russian leader vladimir putin a putin is of view that russia's former glory has to be restored in order to restore the russia's former glory putin started series of annexations in 2014 he annexed crimea later in 2022 he amassed huge military on the borders of ukraine and started a war the war did not go as expected by the russian president the ukrainian ukrainians with the help of western nations resolutely supported and waged a strong resistance against the russian army the russian army has to undergo series of setbacks due to which russia grew increasingly irritant and started violating war laws and humanitarian principles russia is attacking civilian infrastructures especially with the winter looming the russian attack on power grids water supply systems are seen as violations of geneva conventions on war 
the reason why we have to see this in the light of world first world war and second world war is that there were various similarities between both the incidents however this time the united states has clearly indicated that it is not interested in bringing a war against russia the possibility is very negligent we must not be complacent no one thought that russia would have russia would be invading ukraine but it is happening right now and with the world in a very precarious recession kind of situation there is always anything that could happen in law international law so it is very important that we must monitor the situations and the other players like india and china are cautiously taking a tight rope approach while not outrightly accusing russia they are also not supporting the russian invasion so all these factors are there and there is huge expectations going into the 2023 so these are the informations that i thought that i would discuss with you with regard to the poland missile issue so in case if you feel that this poland missile issue will turn into a global world war do try and comment on my comment section i'll be ready to answer your queries and comments and uh, that's it for today if you like this video share it like it and subscribe to my channel thank you